Okay, if you guessed last video's clue correctly, then you know today we are looking at the Pokemon Select Legendary Beasts trio. I know, a Pokemon video that's not actually a build video. Surprise. Now, while I do collect the cards and the Mega Sets, I don't really collect much else from Pokemon other than a few of these Select Sets. And since the Beast Trio is one of my favorite Legendary Pokemon, I ended up getting all three. Now, all three of these were Target exclusives and not released at the same time, the newest release being Entei. But let's open up all three of them and see if they're worth tracking down and catching them all. And here we have the Pokemon Select Legendary Beast Trio, Suicune, Entai, and Raikou. Are they cats? Are they dogs? It's something that's been debated among Pokemon fans. To me, I think they're a little bit of a mix. I definitely see Raikou being more cat-like, Entai is definitely more of a dog, and Suicune's kind of more of a seal. Not really in the same category, but it makes sense since it's the water type of the bunch. As far as these figures go, they are okay. The articulation is not as great as I was hoping. I do like that they did give them all movable mouths, so you can pose them in a growl, snarl, or just with their mouths closed. I would have liked something a little bit better with their legs. They just can't really bend too much at the knees or at the ankles. You can get 
kind of a decent running pose out of them, but really it's only with, you know, the legs spread out, not really tucked in. And then these stands are honestly kind of trash. They always come apart if you try to move them here at the joint that connects right at the base. Pops off all the time. But if you just send them on the shelf and walking away, then, you know, they get the job done. Otherwise, the sculpts, I think, are really good. There's some decent details in them. They look like they would in their 3D form. So I think they're kind of like, you know, statues that look like they're articulated that aren't really as articulated as they could be. So if you missed one or two of these guys beforehand, I don't really think it's worth tracking down on the aftermarket too much. You're not missing out on much. Like I said, decent, but not great. If you're looking for something more, you know, definitive, it's probably not these. However, I'm not overly disappointed I got them. They are, you know, fun to look at. And if you're a Pokemon collector, then they'll look good with, you know, your other Pokemon memorabilia for sure. All right, so that's it for this video. Here's your hint at the next build video. Try and leave your guess in the comments below and let me know what you think it is. Until then, stay safe. Happy hunting. <laughs>